Hi, welcome to Helen's Cuisina. I'm here to teach you guys how to cook Greek in under 30 minutes. Today I'm going to show you baklava, but with a little bit of a twist. We're going to put chocolate in there. It's really important to have your sugar syrup cold when you're adding it to your baklava. So we're going to prepare the sugar syrup a little bit earlier than we do our baklava. One cup of sugar, one cup of water, a little bit of cinnamon clove and a cinnamon stick. And let that simmer on a medium heat just for about 15 minutes. Let's start with the basic ingredients of a baklava. Today, we're using a bit of a combination of almonds and walnuts, all chopped up. For that, you're gonna need probably about a cup. To that, we're gonna add one cup of sugar. Caster sugar, it's nice and refined. About a teaspoon of cinnamon and a teaspoon of ground clove. Our secret ingredient for today is about a cup of these beautiful little chocolate chips. In that goes one egg white. Mix that all up so you're getting a nice little sticky consistency here, which is gonna help us roll the baklava fingers. Keeping your phyllo moist is really, really key to making these really simple to roll. We're gonna take one piece of phyllo pastry for each of our butter section. Our melted butter to this recipe is really, really important. You want lots of butter on that phyllo on each layer. To this, we're going to add three layers of phyllo pastry, but in between, lots of butter. This particular recipe is so easy that out of this, we're gonna get about 12 little fingers. That's enough for a dinner party. The next stage to this recipe is adding our nuts into a nice little rolled layer. Make sure you get it right to the edges. I'm gonna slowly roll our phyllo pastry because we wanna get that really, really long cigar effect. We're only gonna to get to about halfway, guys, because as I said before, this is gonna give us at least 12 little fingers. Slice right at the end. Make sure you line your baking tray. The first finger's ready to roll. This is really simple, guys. You all know what it's like when the cousins come over, or the aunties and the uncles, and you've got nothing in the fridge to do. Race out to the shops, get a few nuts, get some eggs, you've got some cinnamon at home, and off you go. What we want is beautiful, delicate little lady fingers. We want those little bite sizes that people are gonna love when they come to your house. Nice and even. These are gonna cook beautifully. You wanna try not to break the pastry as you're cutting through, so you have gotta be really delicate with these. It might be an idea just to separate them a little bit because they'll cook even more evenly in the oven. Just before you pop them in the oven, it's a really good idea just to give them that last inch of butter that's gonna make them nice and golden brown on the outside. They're gonna be popped in the oven now to about 180 degrees for about 20 minutes. You just want them that nice golden brown. We're simply gonna add the sugar syrup, zhuzh them up a bit, and they're ready to eat. 